Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm in my cargo trailer. This is my 16 foot enclosed cargo trailer. It's kind of my dirt bike uh, ATV trailer. And uh, I'm installing this Halo View BT7 wireless rear view camera system in this. Now this was sent to me by Halo View, so big shout out to them for supporting the channel. See the link down below. So what this includes is it includes a, a, a the camera that I'm going to hook to the back of the, of the trailer and then it has a monitor that you put, I'm going to put in my truck. And it just plugs into a 12 volt source, and I'm in, and and then the transmission between the two is all wireless. So I'm going to get this open, go through what's included, and then go through the installation process, and then we're going to test it out. All right, here's our user manual. All right, if you can see, here's our monitor. This is going to go in the truck. It's actually a perfect spot in most trucks, right up on the dash, to mount these. And it's removable when you're not using your trailer. You can just take it out or store it underneath the seats. Transmission antennas this is going to be the mounting plate. Rear camera has a has an antenna on the side as well. It looks like we have a little bit of length of wire, so this comes with about a foot of wire. All right here's our 12 volt source for the monitor. So when it's sitting inside the truck, this will plug into the side of the. Oh, right here. The camera mounted on the trailer. This will go through the side wall of the trailer. These two will meet up, and then this can go to, to a 12 volt source. And we've got a couple brackets here for mounting our monitor. So I reached out to Halo View, and the solution they had for my application was to send this bracket here. So they actually have a solution for my installation requirements. It's a little L bracket, it's got this really strong rubberized magnet on it, and then there's this metal plate that's got adhesive back. This will stick to the roof because my roof's aluminum. So I just peel that off, stick that on the roof, and then this bracket will stick to that metal bracket. And then if I just take off this, so this is the this is the bracket that this comes on normally. So this kind of sits like this normally. You just unscrew the, the four bolts in the back. There's four little black screws on the back here. So I, f I can just feed my wire through this bracket like this. And then those same black screws I took out will screw back in to hold this bracket in place. So now this will sit on my roof right above the LED, the, uh, LED light, uh, brake light bar. Here is what the unit looks like now that it's all mounted up. It's actually four silver screws that go in the back of this. It holds this bracket on there. And then there's a thumb screw for the rubber magnet pad. And then this can move, kind of clicks into different directions here. Underneath here, this is the pairing button. So before we install it, we're going to do the pairing process. But let's get this up to the roof and just kind of do a test fit, see how it's going to look on top of the roof. Here on the back of the trailer, I want to show how this is going to sit. So the first couple inches right here on the roof, there's some lap sealant, and then there's an aluminum roof. So that's why we need this metal plate, because this metal plate was, uh, will magnetize, and this will be able to stick to it. So I've got to adhere the plate on right here. And then I'll probably run my cable right through the side here. I'll just drill a hole right through here, run this in, and then I'll be able to hook hook into power. Actually, I have power run for these uh, spotlights here on the back. I'll be able to tap into the same power line there. Now, if you can see here, there's actually a uh, there's a trigger wire. Now, this is if you want to have the camera turned on if it's like reverse only or left or right blinker so if you have multiple cameras that's helpful I'm just gonna do a direct 12 volt wire right to the right to a 12 volt battery so that way it's gonna be always on so that way I can monitor behind me at all times so whether it's in reverse or full-time driving I can I can always just see behind me all right guys I'm inside the truck here and I'm going through the pairing process and according to the instructions it's already paired from the factory it's on channel 4 this monitor has looks like four channels so you could hook up almost four different camera sources to this one monitor and this would be your main monitor this is actually just gonna sit up on the dash here and there's a spot I'll show you that when we get that installed but if we power power this on this is actually just connected there's a pairing cable and it's just hooked up to the, the it's hooked up to the camera and it's hooked up to the monitor to give it power so it's just plugged into my 12 volt source so if I hit the power button
the instructions say this is already paired on channel 4, so if I go to source here, the S button, that shows channel 1. There's no signal on 1. But it shows 2, 3, and 4. So you could actually have, you could see all four channels on one screen if you had four cameras hooked up to this, paired to this, which is cool. Uh, 1, 2, 3. Okay, here's channel 4. This is where this camera is already. Alright, this has got a lot of cool features to it. It does have it does have sound to it as well. So, if I want to hear what's going on in the back of my trailer, I can ha I can turn the sound on. Now I just muted it because there's a lot of interference because this is so close to it. You can insert a card, like a uh, SD card, into this to. Yeah, right here we can insert an SD card to record. Oh, here's the pairing screen. So if you need to pair it, you just go into menu, and then just select the pairing screen. This is kind of the inner button. This is how you toggle through the different. Uh, different options. All right, so now I don't really have to do anything with the pairing. That's the nice thing. This will really this is just a way to test out, just to make sure that you're already synced up. Uh, I'll install the antennas on this when I get this installed in the truck. But the camera here has its antenna, but you can kind of see, kind of see the light here. There we go, right there. Or we can get the camera wired to the trailer, and then this monitor is just going to be able to plug into the 12 volt socket here. And there's an on-off button here that we can just turn it on and off, which is nice. Right here up on the roof, I got it all cleaned up here. I'm going to put my metal pad down. Okay, up on the roof here, just wrapping up the installation up here. So I have the metal plate here. I actually put some lap sealant around the edges of it so that it won't come up at all. And routed the wire down through here. And then this is where the cable makes a connection. It connects to the other piece of the wire. So I used, there's a little a green trigger wire that I used a... Uh, uh, waterproof butt connector and heat shrinked it together wrapped it in this tape and I hot glued it to the sidewall of the trailer here so that way it's not sitting on this drip rail and then the wire is then entering the trailer right under there so now it's time to go inside the trailer and wrap up the wiring on the inside on the inside of the trailer here's how we're doing the wiring so I'm using this little round it's kind of a button switch where it just has an, like an LED light on the top when it's on and how it's wired up is this one here is the from the battery. This is to the accessory. So power in, power out to the camera, and then this is the ground. And and it needs a ground in order to uh, light that up. So I I did do that. I want to make I want to know when it's on, and I need to widen this hole just a little bit. This is a little tight. But essentially, what I have is I've uh, I tapped into the, the the wires up in the top here that go to this light. So I have just a red and a black. A red and a black, a power and a ground, and so I just have run those down. So a power, a power going into the switch, a power going out. The power out goes into the uh, wiring, the the wire that goes to the camera, and then the ground goes to the ground. So for, the wiring's pretty simple. They recommend if you're if you're going to uh, wire it directly to battery, like I am, to, to do a switch. So that way, you can turn it on when there's uh, not a truck or you know your your tow vehicle's connected to it. And I can turn it off when I'm not using it. So when I'm going to be using the trailer, I can just flip the switch. The camera will be active, and it'll be ready to From go. the back, here's what it looks like. So here's my ramp door there. Okay, you can kind of see. Now you can you can see the black wire. You know, you can see the black wire right there hanging down, coming down. But otherwise, not very noticeable. It does have an antenna sticking up. And really, the next part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the the truck hook up hooked up to this, and I'm going to see what kind of range the clarity is and the the signal on the, the wireless transmission hey guys so we're in the truck here and I'm gonna try to see how my uh, my picture is from the camera in the trailer so we got the got it up on the trailer so this comes with a just a little 12 volt socket outlet I'm just gonna plug this into my truck here and you can turn it on and off with this button on top which is which is nice so I already have the camera paired okay check this out so I already got uh, already got a view here so this is the view from the top of my trailer looking down. That's my little razor that's behind it there. And the cool thing is I have these kind of grid lines that kind of show like the width of the trailer and then, you know, where I need to stop. I can point it down probably one more notch down. I probably will do that. So mounting option wise, it comes with this base that slides into the back here and it's got 3M adhesive so I could use that. Also a metal bracket that screws on if you want to do more of like a permanent or screw on application you can like screw that in right here this would this would be the bracket here it's got these options I don't think I'm gonna use this I'm gonna use this option 
and I think I might do like up here on the dash I can set it here on the dash and then um, have the camera kind of sit like so up on my dash you know it's a little intrusive of my well it's not too bad right there if I could if I did something like that that actually wouldn't be too bad sitting right there I don't see the full I can't see the full picture but I can see you know probably at least 70 percent of it and the most important part is like you know seeing what's behind you and because I have it wired directly to my battery this is on full time so I don't have to worry about it only being on when I put it in reverse I didn't install the trigger wire so the trigger wire didn't need to be installed because I'm I did a direct wire to the battery trigger wire would be is you'd use that if you're using it to your reverse slides or your blinker you need it to go on if you trigger a like a blinker or reverse light so I don't need that I want a full I want a full-time camera on which is what I which I want and so this will be a good application picture quality is pretty decent I mean, it looks like I can see details. I can see, you know, it's not pixelated. It's not grainy. It's pretty good quality. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm taking my trailer on a uh, trip here uh, in the next couple days, and so we'll see how this kind of works in motion and as we're actually using it. But uh, so far, installation was pretty easy, pretty straightforward. It paired really easily, and uh, I just really, really just finding a spot to mount this is kind of the um, different is going to be challenging for each application. So I think I'm going to keep mine up here on the dash other vehicles you might be able to put it elsewhere all right I just got back from a about a hundred mile road trip pulling my trailer and just want to give some thoughts on this uh, rear view camera my mounting position is actually a little different than what I originally thought I thought I was gonna put it up here in the dash because there is this kind of inset tray that you could put something there like that this thing this is actually just a cell phone a cup cup holder phone mount and I just have this uh, the monitor actually just kind of scrolls between the mount there and so it's kind of right here on my cup holder facing me and I like this position a little better because it's not obstructing my view of the road from up here and I can glance at it over here I don't look you know I didn't look at the camera a whole lot so that wasn't really that big of an issue that it's off here to the side but the clarity was great the picture is is great these guidelines were very helpful I found I had to adjust the camera that the camera can be adjusted it's looking down quite a bit right now I can adjust it out so that I can actually see traffic behind me otherwise this is kind of a, a steep view from the top of the trailer but this actually worked out really well and you can see kind of this is a you know this is a bright daylight and you can see the screen really well when it was dark outside the camera camera actually had uh, has some white light LEDs that show up to shine down to give you light down there I thought that was interesting that it doesn't just do infrared it does these lights okay right here is the LED mode like I was saying the LED mode actually is set to on so if I go to picture here and I select uh, let's see I just use, I'm just using this uh, arrow to enter so I can actually turn that off so that way that the camera is not going to have an LED light like shown in this picture here where it's you know shining back at cars a bright white light so that's nice that you can turn that on and off one thing I did find in the settings was that there's a way to reverse left or right the screen up or down and for an instance there it was that the image was reversed or, or it was uh, flipped to the side and then I was able to on this setting here you can actually just flip the screen around so it shows you what your actual view is from behind so that that was cool that it actually has that built in that you can actually flip the image so depending on how it's mounted or where it's mounted you have that option here so that's just under the we go to menu under the uh, picture icon actually it's under the mirror so a lot of great features a lot of great functions I had zero issues with any of the uh, functionality the connection the uh, the picture the transmission was great there was no interruption there was no distortion and this is probably uh, I would say at least 40 feet 40 feet behind me and I even tried driving I even tried driving 10 or so feet forward of the trailer and it still works great so there's be there, there's no issues with this if you have a longer trailer maybe a, a 40 foot trailer and then plus the length of your truck you should have no issues at all when it comes to the transmission I didn't have any um, I'm glad that I have this option I'm glad that there's a great product like this available to be able to give me a great rear view picture of what's behind me it helped backing up when I was back in the trailer into this position that that was very helpful also 
uh, driving down the road and helping to see cars behind me. So this is just a great solution. I'm really uh, pleased with how this has worked out and the quality of this camera system. Anyways, guys, well, thanks for watching the video. Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. See the link to this in the description and the comments down below. Uh, check these guys out. They did send this to me, so support these guys at Halo View. They, did, they do a great job, and uh, they support the channel. So give them a uh, look if you're looking at one of these uh, camera setups. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.